Well, it's been 10 years since the last major hurricane hit South Florida, but it's important to always stay prepared because it only takes one. Yeah, South Florida students are ready, though, if a storm does come our way, thanks to a natural disaster simulation. CBS4's Vanessa Borge has the story. Hurricane Carlos is closing in on South Florida. It's a Category 3 with winds topping 130 miles per hour. The hurricane hunters are currently flying into the storm. Don't worry, it's all made up. It's an interactive way to prepare these seventh graders from Shenandoah Middle School on what it would be like if a major hurricane hit South Florida. Much more goes into preparing for a storm than buying water and filling up gas tanks. And that's what the students learned today at the Department of Emergency Management. Our folks are going to have to be evacuated. That is certainly a big uh, uh, concern. Storm surge. What's the strength of the wind? How much rain? The students formed their own local government and as a group decided how to deal with the made-up scenarios. It's really helping us on teamwork and how to depend on other people also when we all need help. A fire broke out in a high school designated as a storm shelter. A thousand people are waiting to be relocated. Jocelyn Perez and her group are in charge of transportation. Right now we're trying to figure out how many buses we need and vans that we need to transport the people that are stuck in the shelter. Victor Morales is part of the animal rescue operation. The animals that escaped, we are to capture them, um, uh, make sure they're not hurt and uh, return them to their owners. And the hope is that one day these students will be the leaders we turn to in the future if there is a storm. When they realize the significance of the roles of the organizations play in our community, it opens their eyes to, hmm, maybe I want to do that too. And remember, hurricane season is until November 30th, so we are still in the thick of it. Make sure you stay just as prepared as these students are. Vanessa Borge, CBS4 News.